Hi guys, um, it's Adam here. I'm going to try and uh, guide you through as best I can with uh, some quick overview of typical Zill files and putting together a, uh, a game using Zill. Uh, this is going to be a very, very high, high level overview and literally we're just going to look at the basic uh, files that you need in a typical setup. So, um, I tend to do it this way. So, we obviously I've, you install the Zill uh, Zilf uh, folder itself, and then typically with that you get, in fact, always you get with that you get bin, doc, uh, library, and uh, sample and readme. Um, now I always have one called development, which I put absolutely everything in, and this is basically how I create that. Is I initially just do a copy of the bin, which is uh, that directory there, and then I just create uh, create a copy of that, and then I just start creating everything in here. The reason I do that is just because. That gives me my zilf and zap uh, commands. Um, now, so this is all the things I've been mucking about with, and you'll see I've got loads of loads of uh, numerous unfinished stuff um, because mostly I'm always starting stuff and then not finishing it, which is uh, something I've got to try and sort out for 2019. But anyway, um, so a couple of things I want to look at is let's take a look at. Um, in fact, if we open one called Mallory. Which is one that I'm slowly and painfully working on at the most excruciatingly slow uh, pace you could possibly imagine. And I'm also just going to open my Verbs Plus uh, file and actually also uh, parser Verbs Plus and Swarm Baby. So let's just open that up. Parser uh, Verbs Plus and uh, Swarm Baby. Which will make sense once I start getting into this. Okay, right. <clears throat> so, and apologies if I sound slightly faint. I've got a most horrendous sore throat. This is just the worst possible time doing it. But I thought with the, with the Infocom source code files being released and all the focus on Zill and Zilf at the minute, this is just the ideal time to do this. Really. So, this is a typical. This is how I typically structure my files. So, um, I, I tend to go for XZIP, which is just uh, version five of uh, Z machine. Um, I just like the file, I just like the, the size of it basically. Um, always have the constant game banner at the top, uh, which if you saw my other video will make sense. Uh, you've got your go routine at the top section here, then we've got insert files. Um, now, we'll, theoretically you could have one whopping great big uh, f game file, game.zil or main.zil, whatever you want to call it, and you could put absolutely everything in there, but it tends to be better if you break it up um, and I'll show you why in a second so for example um, you always want to parser so you're always going to have insert file parser there um, now I always create one myself called verbs plus I've mentioned it in one of the other videos um, verbs plus is basically where I've stumbled across things in uh, different games that, I, that we've got where I think oh that's a nice feature but then in other games it's not there so uh, things like press, open, pay um, just even just saying hello, follow something or someone, um, and uh, is it, and all, now and these for example syntax kick hit. So in the game you've got typically attack. Um, now as soon as I got my kids on it, they were typing kick, whack, beat, punch, everything, everything basically, but apart from attack. So um, I thought okay, so we'll just change that around. So basically I created these here. So now when you do that, you can go, you can hit somebody, kick somebody, punch somebody, beat somebody, whack somebody, and it'll do exactly the same thing. It's all basically attack. I mean, look, you can see it here, perform. It's just performing the attack um, routine, but um, it's it's great that it's doing that. Uh, just Sorry, just uh, heard a little beat there. I thought that was uh, uh, something I needed to turn off. Right, okay, uh, so where was I? Right. So in the main file, you've got parser, verbs plus, and swarm baby. So I then always put my rooms at the top. Uh, and I've got these different rooms here: like room, containment, commence, street, shop, shards, crystal shard, uh, rubble, descent, pit, purple. Um, then I've got something called a mood function, which is this is just mood text that comes up throughout the game as you're actually playing it. Um, and then that's it. Now it's a very, I say, I've literally only really made about one percent progress through this game. So you've just that's the amount of code I've got in it already. 
Um, now you'll see interestingly re it references Swarm Baby so if we open that up this is a character um, and uh, these are uh, objects at the top here these are things that you could mention to Swarm Baby and get some kind of uh, response so Janine, Nicholas, Mallory these are all characters um, and I've also got a dead Swarm Baby in there just in case you attack so that's uh, that's the that's how I tend to I, I tend to structure them more like this. So I have all my rooms together, and then um, often I have all my rooms together, and then I'll actually have objects under each room um, rather than have rooms and then objects. Um, I've noticed in some of the other Zill files, people tend to go objects first, but rooms work better for me um, as I'm actually working my way through the code. So if we just run this one, we'll just run it very quickly. when I can actually work out which letters go where. Okay, so do a quick inventory, empty handed. Okay, let's go east, street scene. Uh, and you'll see the text comes up there, smell of smoke is in the air. Um, east again, the shard scene for the broken city. There's a large crystal shard here. I think if you examine the shard, that then actually triggers something. Really cool scene where you see the word suffering. Uh, okay, and if we go east again, this is the rule scene, introductory text for the swarm baby, you can examine the swarm baby, text for examining the swarm baby, attack, or kill swarm baby, something like that. Fight scene description, you kill the enemy, now if you look, there's a dead swarm baby there, that's okay. East descent scene, there's a pit scene down, oh, east again. And that's it. So yeah, very, very, very basic. But that's basically you. All of that you get from just this sort of uh, block of text here, which is just room descriptions. And uh, and that's it, guys. Really, it's just a very quick overview. Very, very quick overview. But I thought I'd just give you a quick what sort of uh, an intro into uh, sort of uh, Zill code files. Um, I do more videos um, as I can think of them. Um, or if you want to put in the, the comment section specifics that you want to see. And I'll try my best. I'm, I'm, I've got a fraction of the coding skill of the other guys in the, in the Zill group. Um, but uh, I'm happy to try and show you what I do know, uh, or, or try and get your question answered. So, okay, uh, thanks for your time. I'll speak to you in the next video. Cheers.